welcome to our channel and today I'm going to be talking about this classroom uh, transformation I did for my second grade class. I am a dual immersion teacher so all the activities and materials are in Spanish. They are going to be linked in the description of the video. So I did a soccer as the theme for the math uh, unit and I did it during my buffer week which was at the end of the unit to wrap it up and see if they were able and they were able to complete all the activities based on what I taught them throughout the unit. The math topics that I focused on were comparing numbers using greater than, less than, and equal to symbols. So I have two activities for that. I did two activities for geometry. There is also two step word problems and then I also have an, an additional activity where they have to read graphs and answer questions. Uh, I did not have time to do it this time, but I do. I will be linking it in the description of the video. So the first task, students uh, work with their groups to finish tasks and when they finish a task, they would get a little a soccer ball that we are going to be using at the end of the transformation and I'll explain a little bit more about that at the end. But uh, I did buy the soccer balls on Amazon. If you do not have the soccer balls, I used to print just the little soccer balls and then just give the, the little print out to each table that was um, finishing the activity. So for the first task, uh, the students were shooting to try to score a goal and I, was, I gave them a little table that had girls versus boys but you can also have table versus a table or however you want to group them. For me it was just easier when we went outside to have boys versus girls shooting and they would try to score a goal and so let's say that each goal was worth one point and we had Eight, uh, eight points for the girls because eight of the 10 girls scored a goal and then the boys uh, scored seven. So then they would have to put in their little table for the girls eight and for the boys seven and then they would have to use the symbols greater than, less than or equal to to compare those two numbers. Then after that, I would only pick one boy and one girl to come up and they would get five chances to score. So then out of those five chances, how many goals did they score? And then the kids would compare them as well. Then after that, I wanted students to also be able to compare two digit numbers. So then we made each goal be worth 10 points. So now if for example, five girls score, they got 50 points. And if um, seven, seven boys score, then it was 70. So now they were comparing 50 and 70. And then you can also have each goal be worth 100 points so that they can be comparing three digit numbers as well. Once they finish, if the boys won, then every boy would get a little soccer ball or if the girls won, then every little girl would get a soccer ball that we're going to be using at the end. The next activity is comparing players and um, each table had the profiles of, the, of the, the data for each soccer player and they had to analyze. So first they had to pick two players that they're going to be comparing and they had a little table that they're going to be filling out. So they're going to be comparing um, how many goals each player scored, how many tournaments they won, how many assists they've made. Um, so it's a different categories and they're going to be finding the information first from the profile and then they're going to be comparing those numbers. Um, and the reason why this one comes second is because um, the numbers are not going to be just finishing in zeros like the first activity that we had. That's just kind of like to remind them of the symbols and it's a little bit easier for them. But now when we're comparing players, um, it is more difficult numbers because we're looking at like 323 versus um, 332. So then they have to really look at the place value when they're comparing the data. Once again, when, when, they, they, when the table finished, they would get a little soccer ball. Um, and then um, another thing, if because we know that our classes, every student is different and not everybody finishes at the same time. So what I would do is that the first person that finished from each table, they were the ones that would get the little soccer ball for their team, for their table, and then they would go back and they would be, they would be the ones to help their teammates finish the activity as well. So they all had to complete the activity even though one player already uh, completed it because I wanted to make sure everybody is practicing um, the math topics. Then um, right here I have a time filler in case you do have some that are finishing up besides your first one that is your helper. Then they would um, get these little soccer jerseys and they had to 
uh, cre- right? What is their nickname? And we talked about nicknames because that's one of our vocabulary words um, in Spanish, apodo. And they had to write what is their nickname that they were given. If they don't have one, then they would create a nickname. And then they would write their number and then they get to color and create their little jersey um, just as a time filler because once again, not everybody finished at the same time. The next activity that students had to do was a geometry worksheet. So in the geometry uh, worksheet, we had two of them. So one of them was was focusing on pentagons inside a soccer ball and the other one was hexagons. So in the in the worksheet, they're gonna have a problem that says like how many pentagons are in three soccer balls? And then they, they would be able to see the little pictures of the soccer ball. And I told them to only focus on how many pentagons they can see because obviously there's the back of the soccer ball. We were not counting the pentagons in the back, just the ones that they could, that were visible. So let's say that they could see six pentagons and there's three balls. They had to use repeated addition to find the total number of pentagons. So if there's six and there's three balls, I wanted to see six plus six plus six equals 18. So one of the worksheets was the pentagons and the other worksheet was how many hexagons can you see? Same format as well. Once um, they finished, they got a little soccer ball as well. The next activity was word problems involving two step, two steps. So for example, when the problems were Messi scored three goals and Cristiano scored two more goals than Messi, my kids were having a hard time with this one um, because they kept putting three plus two equals five when we were when we were learning this standard so i wanted to see if they were able to remember that it's like a two-step problem like first you have to find out how many goals cristiano scored by adding three plus two which is five and then that five they had to add it to the ones that messi scored which were three so five plus three equals eight because they needed to find what was the total amount of goals scored um between messi and cristiano so though that was word problems we once again they finished they got a little soccer ball and um, for the end, now that we're done with all the, the activities, I will be collecting the little soccer balls that they were getting throughout the tasks. So the way I do it is that I project this um, soccer field that I created on like a PDF document that is linked to actual uh, video. So the soccer field has a, the women's soccer players on there with their number and the student will come up so let's say i'm calling the first student he comes he gives me the little soccer ball and then he picks one of the players from the soccer field so they let's say he picked number 20 we click on number 20 it's going to link it to the video if number 20 scores a goal his table will be getting a point if his player misses the goal they get they, they get no points and we continue until they they um pick all the players then because I do give a lot of little soccer balls throughout the, the tasks and activities, you are gonna have um, some that are not gonna have a player to pick because we already picked all of them. So the next part of it is, um, so I start always with, with this part first because the second part, everybody wants to do it. So the second part is that I create a soccer goal make, made out of Unifix cubes and then they have to try to score a goal with their little soccer ball that they got from the tasks. So that's the way we figure out um, who's gonna win, whoever whoever has more goals for their team uh, is the winner. I don't give a prize, but you can give them a little prize, a little uh, trophy or something. I don't know, we, we don't give, I don't give prizes for my classroom. Um, we just say like, oh, good job, Gryffindor table, your table is the winner for, for this transformation. Um, and that is it. Um, other things that I do, um, as part of the transformation is that I do, like my brother had a baby shower and his theme was a soccer theme. So after the baby shower, I collected everything from the, from the, the that they used for decorating and that's what I used to transform my classroom. So it was two tablecloths that have um, little soccer balls. And then it was a um, the little soccer balls as well that I gave. He also had the goals as part of his decoration so i use that but before that i would just use cones um and before i even had cones i would just use the actual soccer goal that my school had um so remember you do not have to have all these things i started the first time i did it i just focused on creating the activities and then i started adding on 
um, thing. So we, I also have a playlist that is on a loop with all the World Cup uh, songs in the background as we're completing the activities. I also send a, a, a message to parents letting them know if they have a jersey, uh, if, the if the student has a jersey to please wear it for that day. So just little things that we add extra to just make it uh, more, more enjoyable for them. Um, and that is it. If you have any question or comment, please um, leave it below and I will get back to you. Um, and I hope that you try this lesson. The kids love it.